Hi parents, so today I wanted to talk about the topic of holding space. But before I get into that topic, I want to kind of give like a scenario for you guys can better understand it. So imagine when our child has a cold or is like physically hurt. As a parent, you instantly begin to care for them, make sure they're drinking enough fluids, making sure that their needs are met, and we feel bad for them and just want to do anything to make them feel better. But what about when our kids are maybe mentally and emotionally not feeling well? How do we respond to that as parents? We as parents try to fix, 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 fix and find a solution. But during these uncertain times, we, we can't fix, we can't find a solution. So how do we help our kids? How do we help our kids during these uncertain times? And so that's why I wanted to t focus today on holding space. So holding space means getting to their level, walking with them on whatever they're going through, taking in their thoughts and their feelings without judging, without putting in our two cents, without adding any of that to dis anything to discredit what they're feeling. We want to do whatever to make them feel safe and make them feel open. So I wanted to talk about some of the key elements to holding space. So I'm gonna be looking at the camera and then we're gonna kinda look down at my notes because I have some things jotted down. So one of the first things at first is that we need to set up a safe environment that allows our child to feel comfortable talking. So this means that we have to find somewhere private, a space where there's um, not too many distractions, a space that is quiet and they can feel comfortable talking. Also, we need to set up a time. Ask the child, hey, what time would you like to talk or having them pick the time but if they come to us and then we're doing something we're not able to put it down because we always want to give our full attention and if we're not able to put it down at the moment we could say hey i can't give you my full attention right now but i truly want to hear what you have to say can i finish this up and then we can talk right after so just acknowledging that you want to hear what they have to say and just making them feel comfortable um the second thing second element is that we have to be in tune with ourselves so in order for a child to feel comfortable talking and venting we have to recognize our facial expressions and our body language because if we're sitting there with a judgmental face they're not going to want to talk or if we have a closed off presence so if our arms are closed or if our if we're like sitting not directing our attention to them it's gonna make them feel like we don't wanna listen. So we have to be really in tune with that. Another element is that we need to practice active listening. So active listening means being in the moment and truly listening, because most of the time we, we don't truly listen to each other. We have something else on our mind. We might be thinking about dinner or we might be thinking, why is this person talking about this or why is what's what's this on their mind so we're actually judging in our brain but we truly need to active listen and we need to reflect so this means kind of taking something that our child says and just repeating it to just show them that we are listening um another thing to hold in space is that we can't judge don't judge don't fix don't change their words and do not take away from their pain or whatever they're feeling. So if little Johnny say, hey mom, I'm feeling upset because of this, this, and this, you can't say, well, you shouldn't feel this way. Or you can't say, this shouldn't make you feel this way. It's none of that. It's just truly listening or maybe saying, I'm sorry that you feel that way or it must be hard for you what you're going through. So you just wanna make everything approachable you want to make them comfortable one of the final elements is that we want to thank them we want to say thank you for sharing this with me 
or possibly thank you for feeling comfortable enough to talk to me because we want them to feel okay and able to come back. And also, after they're done venting, we don't want to tell anyone. We don't want to tell the whole family because they're not going to come back and talk to us. So we want to be that open presence to just make them feel comfortable. And then thanking them will truly like seal the deal. And this is a good takeaway. Just remember that people, kids, anyone just want to talk out loud about their problems, feelings, um, current situations. They don't necessarily want a fix to the problem. They don't want a solution. It's just the aspect of talking out loud, venting out loud, and being heard and connected. So that's all we want our children to feel at this moment is that they're being heard and then they're feeling connected because a lot of them are feeling lost at the moment.